Welcome to TPM Vids Part B, where we talk all about amusement and theme parks. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to be notified when we upload a new video. We also have Instagram and Twitter. You can find us at TPM Videos. Over in Buena Park, California sits Knott's Berry Farm, which just happens to be California's first theme park. Back in the early 1940s, way before Disneyland was built, Walter Knott decided to build an old western ghost town. This was to keep eager visitors occupied while they waited for the family's famous chicken dinners. Over time, Ghost Town expanded and eventually popular rides like the Calico Mine Ride and the Timber Mountain Log Ride were added. These rides have become Knott's Berry Farm classics, along with the other offerings of Ghost Town. It's a true theme park experience. Oh, that makes right. And even though Thrill wasn't a major focus in the beginning, more and more Thrill rides have been added to the 57-acre park. This has been especially true since Cedar Fair purchased Knott's Berry Farm in 1997. Today, the park is home to some pretty fast rides, but which one is actually the fastest? Well, get ready to find out. So today, in order of speed, we're going to be counting down the top 10 fastest thrill rides and roller coasters at Knott's Berry Farm. Number 10. We're going to start the list off in Fiesta Village, where this Mayan temple acts as the centerpiece of Jaguar. The ride opened on June 17, 1995, and your ride experience begins as you enter the temple to find yourself in this indoor queue. For an exposed steel coaster, the queue is quite detailed, which includes Mayan sculptures and paintings on the walls. Then once you board your train, you'll soon find yourself heading up one of two lift hills traveling along the 2600 feet of coaster track. With a series of turns, small bunny hills, many straight sections, and an interactive element through the loop of Montezuma's Revenge, Jaguar creates a thrilling experience that's not too intense. It's a really fun coaster for the entire two-minute ride. With drops of just 45 feet, Jaguar has a top speed of only 30 miles or 48 kilometers an hour, so it's the perfect family-style coaster to get riders ready for more thrilling coasters at the park. Number 9. Next, we'll make our way into Camp Snoopy, where you can find Sierra Sidewinder. This roller coaster, manufactured by Mack Rides, opened on May 26, 2007, and what really makes it unique are the ride vehicles. As you ascend up the 62-foot-tall lift hill and drop only 39 feet, you'll soar across the coaster track, dipping, diving, and turning as you reach a top speed of 37 miles or 59.5 kilometers per hour. So what's so special about these ride vehicles? Well, they are constantly spinning. This was the first model of the coaster that used free spinning vehicles and not a motor. So the amount of spinning will always depend on factors like the weight in the ride vehicle. It definitely adds to the thrill, but you may want to pass on this one if you aren't a fan of spinning rides. It can be a little much at times. Now Sierra Sidewinder might be in the kids section of the park, but don't mistake this ride for a kiddie coaster because it's much more intense than it looks. Number 8. At the back of the park, you'll find the boardwalk, and it's home to the next ride on the list. Coast Rider, which is also manufactured by Mack Rides, opened on May 25, 2013, replacing Perilous Plunge. Coast Rider is your typical wild mouse model roller coaster, which can be found in many other amusement parks across the world. After your train ascends up the 52-foot lift hill, you'll drop 50 feet, reaching top speeds of 37 miles or 59.5 kilometers an hour. Before you know it, you'll find yourself passing through many sharp turns, more drops, and even more twists and turns. With these wild mouse coasters, they do give you the feeling that you're gonna fall off the edge as you approach each turn, which does add to the overall thrill. The entire ride lasts 1 minute and 50 seconds, and since it isn't too intense and is definitely on the milder side, Coast Rider is another great family coaster option at Knott's Berry Farm. Number 7. Next we'll head off into Ghost Town to check out Pony Express. 
This launch coaster, manufactured by the Italian company Zemperla, opened on May 22, 2008, and is named after the historic Pony Express mail service. Now, launch coasters have been around for a couple decades, but what really makes this launch coaster unique are the seat restraints. Pony Express is a motorbike-style coaster where you straddle the seats like you would on a bike, or in this case, a pony or horse. Pony Express was one of the first motorbike coasters to be built in the United States, and it takes you from 0 to 38 miles or 61 kilometers an hour in a matter of 3 seconds. The one downfall is the short ride time of only about 40 seconds, but it's still an extremely smooth coaster that definitely gives you a dose of thrill and is a lot of fun. Number 6 Soaring 312 feet over the park, it's hard to miss Supreme Scream. Located in the boardwalk, this freefall ride opened on July 3, 1998 as the world's tallest vertical drop ride. Unfortunately, it was not able to hold the record for too long, but today it's still the tallest structure at Knott's Berry Farm. Once you're secured in your seat, get ready for the anticipation to build as you're lifted 30 stories above the ground. After briefly stopping at the top, which in the moment does feel like forever, you'll then find yourself traveling faster than freefall speeds. In a mere 3 seconds, you're dropped to the bottom reaching a top speed of 50 miles or 80.5 kilometers per hour. Supreme Scream has a ride time of only 45 seconds, but it's more than enough time to get your adrenaline pumping and make you scream. Number 5 Back in Fiesta Village, you'll find Montezuma's Revenge, which just happens to be the oldest ride on the list. Montezuma's Revenge opened on May 21st, 1978, and was the second roller coaster built at Knott's Berry Farm. Now make sure to keep your head back because before you know it, you're launched from 0 to 55 miles or 88.5 kilometers per hour in a matter of 3 seconds. You travel right into a vertical loop, make your way up the 148 foot tower, then immediately travel backwards through the entire circuit passing through the load station. This shuttle loop coaster was only one of 12 manufactured. To this day, it's the oldest shuttle loop coaster still in operation in its original park, and out of the six coasters still operating, it's the only one in the United States. Montezuma's Revenge is another short coaster with a ride time of only 35 seconds, but with its launch, vertical loop, and backwards motion, it never fails to thrill. Number 4 Making our way back to Ghost Town, we'll find Silver Bullet, the B&M Inverted Coaster. Silver Bullet opened on December 7th, 2004, and is one of the first things you see before you even enter the park. Themed to the Old West, Silver Bullet takes you through 3,125 feet of coaster track, and the experience is nothing short of exhilarating. As you make your way up the 146-foot lift hill with your feet dangling below, you'll get a great bird's-eye view of Fiesta Village, then find yourself heading down the 109-foot drop, reaching a top speed of 55 miles or 88.5 kilometers per hour. You'll fly across the track, going through a total of six inversions. This includes a vertical loop, a cobra roll, a zero-g roll, and two corkscrews. Now, Silver Bullet is a pretty smooth coaster, and not only does it offer some scenic views of the park during the 2 minute and 10 second ride, it also has the most inversions on any coaster at Knott's Berry Farm. So if you're looking for the ultimate thrill that will bring you upside down, look no further than Silver Bullet. Number 3 Staying in Ghost Town? We'll head over to the other end of the land where Ghost Rider sends you speeding through 4,500 feet of lumber. Considered to be one of the best wooden coasters in the world, Ghost Rider opened on December 8, 1998, and it's beautifully designed. Each click up the 118-foot lift hill leads to a plunge down a 108-foot drop, where you reach a top speed of 56 miles or 90 kilometers an hour. With a total of 14 hills, 
you'll get tons of airtime as you fly across the coaster track of this double out and back design. With a ride time of 2 minutes and 40 seconds, you won't be disappointed with this wooden coaster experience. In September of 2015, Ghost Rider was closed to replace the track and add new trains, and when it reopened in June of 2016, it was as smooth as it was on opening day in 1998. With this recent refurbishment, Ghost Rider is a really enjoyable wooden coaster, and it's sure to satisfy any thrill seeker. Number 2 Next, we'll head into the boardwalk to take a look at the newest ride on the list. Holding the title as the first dive coaster in California, Hangtime opened on May 18, 2018, replacing Boomerang. Towering 150 feet over the park, your train will make its way up the 90-degree lift hill. Before you head down the drop, your train comes to a halt and hangs off the edge before traveling down at a 96-degree angle. This might just be one of the best parts of the ride. Reaching top speeds of 57 miles or 92 kilometers an hour, Hangtime makes you feel like you're riding the ocean waves and features a total of five inversions, including a corkscrew and a cobra roll. The now defunct boomerang also had a cobra roll, so this inversion on Hangtime does act as a little tribute to the past, whether it was intentional or not. For the entire two minute and 10 second experience, you're guaranteed a smooth and exhilarating ride as each train maneuvers the twists and turns of the turquoise track. If you want the ultimate thrilling experience, be sure to sit in the front row as it really heightens every element on hang time. Number 1 Now it's time to speed across the boardwalk where we'll find the fastest ride at Knott's Berry Farm. Accelerator opened on June 22, 2002, and compared to the other rides on the list, this one is incredibly fast. Once you board your 57 Chevy, make sure you really keep your head back because within 2.3 seconds, you're launched at 82 miles or 132 kilometers an hour. It's just enough acceleration to travel up the 205 foot top hat element. Once you come straight down, You'll go around two overbank turns before the ride quickly comes to an end. Now this coaster looks fast, but you really don't realize the magnitude of its speed until you're actually on the ride. Accelerator was manufactured by Intamin and was the company's first hydraulic launch coaster installed. The entire ride only lasts about 40 seconds, but from beginning to end, it's nothing short of an intense, thrilling experience. You'll definitely feel the wind in your hair on this one, so if you're looking for the ultimate thrill at Knott's Berry Farm, then look no further than Accelerator. So, what's your favorite ride at Knott's Berry Farm? Either from this list, or maybe one we didn't mention? I'd love to know! Leave a comment down below to start a conversation, and don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video! Thanks so much for watching! Click the TPM icon on the screen to subscribe to this channel and check out some of these other videos which we're sure you'll like!